I don't believe that a woman should be the head of a household, let alone the head of a freaking country. I believe in gender roles. Yes, I do. Definitively. I'm not going to start biting my tongue now. I'm not going to start biting my tongue now. I believe in gender roles. I think that a woman is incredibly important, but she's important to do what she was meant to do. You not built like a man. Stop trying to act like you are. You not. It's and you don't want to be. Trust me, it's hard as hell being a man. There is no forgiveness. None of that. Ain't no forgiveness being a man. Listen, you know how many uh domestic abuse shelters that there are in the United States went meant women to men. Look it up. But my point is, is that I just can't, I can't see it. It doesn't make sense. Can you imagine this woman trying to negotiate for political prisoners? Making a decision on whether or not they need to send some drones in to, to do some strikes and then having to own that and sleep with that every single night. What if it's her time of the month? Then what? What if she feeling emotional? Y'all telling us that we need to be more, more um, compassionate and understanding of women on what it is that they go through. So do we need to pick one week so she get three months out of the three weeks out of the month to run the country, and then the other week we just gonna have to be compassionate towards her? I'm curious, honestly. I'm curious. Every single woman that we've seen come up and play a role as far as trying to run for president, vice president, all of this other type of stuff is a no-go. So who? Who? Who's strong enough to have these conversations with a bunch of men in the good old boys club? Because again, it don't matter about how it is that I feel. It matters about the reality and men run the fr men are running the entire world. They making decisions based off of climate change. They it's going to be half the people that hate them and half the people that love them. Regardless, we see Kamala Harris can't even get her own freaking AIDS and her own people in order. And she whining talking about is people on every level, including the U.S. Senate and over in California and even in the White House. And she complaining about that. Men don't have the luxury to sit there and say, well, it's everybody else's fault. It's mine. Whether you hate me or whether you love me, these are the decisions that we're going to go through. And this is why we're doing it. I can't see it. I can't see it. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Brittany says uh, Kamala was a WOC until, uh, until she wasn't. I'm guessing. Oh, until she wanted votes. Uh, people will continue to vote for the left, get played. Biden is using the left for more control. I will vote for a woman who is conservative. That makes sense. Give me one. I don't disagree with you, Brittany, but give me one. Give me one that you will vote for. Candace Owens. I got her book. Hand me a blackout right at the, the second shelf. I thought that Candace wrote a phenomenal book. I think that this book is absolutely awesome. If anybody has read it, and I know some of y'all don't like her, but the reality is that if anybody has read it, it's hard to not take this woman serious as far as what her thoughts are and her ability to be able to communicate and articulate her thoughts the way that she does. Randy says, uh, depending on her age, she might not even have a menstrual cycle anymore. Not a fan of that statement, Anton. Listen, educate me. Help me to understand. The one thing that I will never do, the one thing that I will never do, Randy, and I respect your comment, is I can't bite my tongue. Because we all feel a certain type of way, but it's not my job. It's not my job to make people feel comfortable. It's my job to tell the truth as I see it. Now, the one thing that I am also on top of that is open to the possibility that I'm wrong or change my mind. But when very few people are willing to even, I don't see one woman, not one. I bet you if I made it available to everybody, men would be on here left and right. But I'm not. I'm not. This is y'all opportunity. I don't see one woman 
coming up here to help me to understand how I need to be looking at it differently. I don't see one woman doing that. And so why should I think any differently when nobody is willing to have the conversation to help me to look at it a little bit differently? I'm curious. She said that's an insensitive comment. We talking about running the entire freaking country. We don't have time to be sensitive or insensitive with, with regard to our decision making process. You talking about the person that's going to have their hand on the nuke. I don't want them to even be in a position to be thinking about whether or not it's a sensitive or insensitive comment. That's for the regular people to discuss. I'm talking about the leader of the free world that got to go against Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, the whole Chinese Communist Party. This ain't about whether or not you feel a certain type of way. This is about whether or not a person is in a position to truly be able to make decisions and go against toe to toe some of the worst dictators in the world. We not even that's just what we see on the surface. We don't see all of the gun running. We don't see the stuff that happens behind the scenes. Have y'all ever seen the Lord of War? I believe that 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 movie is depicting what the truth is. We're not talking about what's su supplying warlords to fight wars for you on your behalf. Listen, I have not seen this lady even come out of the White House since she's got elected. And you trying to help me to understand that I'm being insensitive. I'm telling you that, that you need a coat of armor on you to even be able to jump on any of these platforms to have these conversations at all. At all. If I'm wrong, then help me to understand that I'm wrong. All right, y'all don't have to cam up. Y'all don't have to cam up. Y'all don't have to cam up. Help me to understand. I'm curious where I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Listen, I don't believe... Huh, y'all about to get me started for real now. I don't believe that a woman should be the head of a household, let alone the head of a freaking country. I believe in gender roles. Yes, I do. Definitively. I'm not going to start biting my tongue now. I'm not going to start biting my tongue now. I believe in gender roles. I think that a woman is incredibly important, but she's important to do what she was meant to do. You not built like a man. Stop trying to act like you are. You not. It's and you don't want to be. Trust me, it's hard as hell being a man. There is no forgiveness. None of that. Ain't no forgiveness being a man. Listen, you know how many uh, domestic abuse shelters that there are in the United States when meant women to men. Look it up. If I'm not mistaken, the last time that I checked, there was well over 300. I could be understating the number for women and possibly one for men. When I'm telling you that it's not equal, because when we fighting for these equal rights, a lot of times y'all fighting for it for your benefit, but you don't want the other side of it. You don't want the negative that come along with it. You don't want to have to eat what we eat. You don't want to have to suffer how we suffer. You don't want to take into consideration or even advocate for the possibility of changing and updating family court laws. Y'all are fighting against that. You fighting against updating family court laws. This is the truth. You don't want to subject yourself to the jail numbers. The fact that men are overwhelmingly the ones that are experiencing death, suicide, jail, all of this stuff that we take on the hardest jobs, even in these union jobs, even when you go in these plants. Listen, I worked in a steel mill. We was working the same amount of money. There is no difference to the pay with women to men. But you know what happens? The men get the hardest jobs. When we had to go in that pit and rake out that steel and we was dripping with sweat Every single hour, you know what they, you know who they may do it? Us. They didn't make women do it. They didn't make women do it. It was expected for us to get in that pit and do those hard jobs. You want to know the truth? You want to know the reality? Listen, listen, I'm telling you that you are a flower. You are meant to be cherished, loved, embraced. And hopefully, I pray that whoever it is that's your husband puts you in a position to where you can truly embrace your femininity so that you can add as much value as you're supposed to and not be required to bring in resources in order for y'all to survive in y'all household. But let's be clear. 
Let's be clear. Just because you are surviving and some of y'all are thriving in some of these roles, that does not mean that you are built for some of the stuff that men go through. That's just on the surface in a general sense. When we start to really deep dive and get into having to compete against men, listen, you take your best WNBA player and I'm going to take the worst regular NBA player and I'm telling you, he going to wash her. 10 times out of 10. Who is your best player? Sue Bird? Take Sue Bird and then put him against uh, Brian Scalabrini, a retired former worst NBA player in the league, and I'm telling you, he will wash her. 10 times out of 10. This is not a game. This is not a game. This is not me downgrading or being insensitive to you. This is me understanding what you really are and saying that we need to be a little bit more careful on how we handling our flowers, not determining that, that we should throw them in the, in the mud with the rest of us. You're not meant to be in the mud, baby girl. You meant to be in the grass with the rest of the, with the rest of the flowers. You meant to be separated by a barrier. We need to pick the weeds out from around you so that you don't get choked out. I'm telling you, I'm saying this out of love. And now I'm trying to better understand exactly why you think and why you would want a woman with the nuke codes. Somebody going to have to tell y'all the truth. I don't want my daughter out here competing with men. No, I don't. I don't want my daughter out here fighting with men. No, I don't. I want her relaxed. I want her in her femininity. I want her taken care of. I want her sheltered. I want her protected. I don't want her out here competing with men, trying to negotiate with men. I don't. Maybe I'm too throwback. Maybe I love her too much. Maybe I see her. I don't want Rita out here fighting for resources. I don't ever want Rita to have to sit here and fight for resources and compete in order for us to survive. No way, no how. I'd rather die. I'd rather be the one that's on the front line working 20 hours a day and sleeping for and before I ever have Rita on the front lines trying to make decisions and compete and negotiate with men. Y'all crazy. Y'all are crazy. If y'all think that I'm ever going to let my chick be in a position where she got to sit here and compete with me, I don't even want my chick arguing with a man. Rita know better. Rita know if anything start getting out of line, you sit back, you stand back, and you fall behind me. You shut the piss up, and you let me handle it. Whatever happens, it's going to be based off of me. I'm waiting. I don't see not one of y'all came up, and I gave y'all an extended amount of time. I don't see not one woman jumping up there. Mm. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want y'all to cam up and help me to understand where I'm off. That moment when you hate Cheeto Man so bad that you'd vote people <laughs> who have done more damage to minority communities than good. Y'all voted for them, so don't backtrack now. Service USA said what he said. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Mm. Beautiful disaster said that's right. Obama know what's up. He don't want no Michelle running from no freaking president. Why would he ever want Michelle to have to deal with that foolishness? She didn't even want him to deal with it. But but y'all put listen, I'm curious. What man would put his woman in that line of fire? No freaking way. No freaking way. Not at all. Scalabrini just had tournaments playing AAU players and was destroying them. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Modern women would call Rita weak. Modern women ain't got no man. 